Well, we're headed into the Christmas season when Christians all over the world will be celebrating the birth of Jesus in the little town of Bethlehem. Speaking of Jesus' birth, do you know why Jesus wasn't born in California? Because God couldn't find three wise men and a virgin. During the Christmas season, the phrase Merry Christmas is ubiquitous. It's spoken to begin and end conversations. It's printed on most Christmas cards. It's the normal Christmas mantra spoken by store clerks or when meeting family and friends or even by strangers passing on the sidewalk. Some well-intentioned Christians insist on using the greeting Merry Christmas rather than other phrases like Happy Holidays. It's their way of keeping Christ in Christmas. But recently I started to wonder if the phrase Merry Christmas is the best greeting to use during the Christmas season. Here's why. The harsh reality is that Christmas is not merry for everyone. During the Christmas season, a growing number of people struggle with what is called seasonal affective disorder, which is a mood disorder often accompanied by depression. For others, Christmas is a time of loneliness and disappointment. Others are facing adversity or illness that is not suspended simply because it's Christmas. I will never forget Sunday evening, December the 22nd, 1985. I was serving as a pastor in Dayton, Ohio and received an urgent phone call that I come to the hospital as soon as possible. When I arrived, I was whisked to a room where the husband and two daughters of one of the sweetest most beloved women I had ever known, Nancy Baker, were weeping almost uncontrollably. A few hours earlier, Nancy and her husband, Harold, had just returned home from a trip. When they entered their home, Nancy, who wasn't feeling well, sat down on the couch to rest for a moment. And suddenly, she slumped over and fell to the floor. The EMTs rushed Nancy to the emergency room only minutes away, but upon arrival at the hospital, she was officially pronounced dead due to a massive heart attack. So for the Baker family, Christmas 1985 was not a Merry Christmas. And saying Merry Christmas to the Bakers that year just didn't seem appropriate. I'm sure many of you have had similar stories that make saying Merry Christmas seem awkward or out of place. So what can we say instead of Merry Christmas? Maybe an answer is found in the Gospels. From the time of his birth and throughout his life, Jesus was given several different titles. For example, he was referred to as the Christ, which means God's anointed one. He was also called Lord, which means he is the one to whom we yield our highest allegiance. But the very first title given to Jesus at his birth is Emmanuel. In Matthew chapter 1 and verse 23, the Bible records, the virgin will be with child and will give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. The phrase, God is with us, is really what we are celebrating at Christmas. It is the fact that God himself took upon himself human flesh and entered into our suffering world to be with us in the midst of our most turbulent circumstances. This is something we need to be reminded of and hopefully offers us comfort and peace. I wonder if you are facing difficult or tragic circumstances this Christmas season or know of others who are. If so, instead of greeting others with the traditional Merry Christmas this year, 
maybe we should simply offer the greeting, God is with us. That's something to consider.